Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I sure appreciate you stopping by. I got something cool for us to check out today. We like it soft, we don't like it hard. What are you talking about? We're talking about water. How can water be soft and hard? Well, it all has to do with the mineral content in the water. So before I left town, I had a package delivered. Uh, and it was one that I've been expecting and it arrived last night and I was rolling out this morning. I didn't have time to mess with it, but a company reached out to me a few weeks ago and offered a product for me to, to try out. And I thought, well, what the heck? So if you've been following the channel for a while, you know we've been struggling with, or I've mentioned that our new magnitude it's not very water efficient not nearly as efficient as the previous rv and that's because it has a gerard insta heat hot water heater and i've put in a new shower head and i'm currently testing that uh, but anything to help men reduce the amount of water we're using is beneficial and so when this company reached out to me and said would you be interested in in sampling and trying this product i said well absolutely if it'll help reduce the amount of water i'm using in my rv and in general on my rv i'm all for it and that company was pro aqua and they sent me a ready for the road portable water softener and they even have a class c that's a european class c on there they even have a class picture of a class c uh one thing that is immediately apparent that is not light 32 pounds and then there's another little box that goes with it. That's the pre-filter slash recharge unit. So I'm going to open up these boxes. I'm not going to bore you with the box opening part. And I'm going to educate myself on this piece of equipment. And then we'll come back and talk about it some more. So stay tuned. More to come. The instructions are really simple. Right here to, to start the use. You've just got to backwash it. So you connect the incoming water supply to the out port and a hose to the drain. And you're just going to backwash it uh, for five minutes or until the water flows clear. So you're going to backwash it for five minutes or until the water's clear. And then you connect it into the out and put it in place. Now the system also came with the water softener regeneration kit and water filter so this is a five micron filter and it is also used to regenerate the beads that are in here there's some kind of polymer I, I i'm not a chemist i'm not i'm not an engineer don't ask me what kind of polymer it is and how that well i just know that it grabs the minerals so that the water coming out is better and you're supposed to be able to get soapier and everything's supposed to be cleaner when you're done i'm excited because i can also use this when i'm washing the rv and it will it won't leave spots so it doesn't require drying and imagine it takes me two hours to scrub this thing down anything to help shorten that and make it look good i'm happy so i'm gonna hook it up and once i've got it all hooked up i'll cut back in and i'll show you how that all works we're all hooked up it definitely adds a, a level of of complexity to the the whole <laughs> rv setup uh and apparently i've got a loose fitting somewhere I don't know i'll sort it all out but the, the pre-filter that's a that's a 0.5 micron and then we have the the softener if you're like me and you do a lot of park hopping you know one two nights that's a lot of extra work just to you know for one night to set that up now, if there was a way to permanently mount it but i'm not sure with my with my rv i don't think that's that's doable 
but if I'm staying in one place for a long time, then yeah, it makes sense. And then there's also the fact that this already weighs 32 pounds, and then we fill it with water. And that really adds to the weight. I'm gonna keep working with it. I'm gonna use it. I'm, I'm on the road for a week, uh, so I'll use it for a week. And then uh, when I get back, we'll, we'll wash. We'll wash the, the magnitude. We'll wash Trudy with some soft water and see if it helps. And then I'll get back with you. So stay tuned. This video is not done. I'm to wash Trudy, and that's a job. Now, the rumor has it, I don't know if it's a rumor, but it's supposed to be easier to, or, or have a better wash if your water is soft, so you don't end up with as many mineral or as many spots, so you're not having to wipe it down. And let me tell you, wiping this thing down, that by itself is a job. So I'm gonna give the, the Pro Aqua water softener a go with the pressure washer. We'll see how that all works out. I'll cut back in a little bit, but right now I gotta go wash, a, wash an RV. We, uh, I'm done washing the motorhome and heck I went ahead and washed both of the other vehicles as well. This one is the real, the real test, real proof positive. Now, I didn't towel this down. I did wipe the windows down, but you can see there's a little bit of, of spotting. Most of this though I think is the the Meguiar's. I was using Meguiar's. Hold on, what do I do with it? I won't, I won't use it again. <laughs> I was using this stuff, wash and wax. It sucks. <laughs> I'll tell you what I like. So if you're gonna, you're gonna wash your RV, Walburnize, one step. Maker, maker of RV Super Seal. It doesn't streak too bad, so you don't have to you don't have to dry it. And and if you combine that with the, the softened water, son, you are not you're gonna have a good looking RV. But we're we're actually talking about the the Pro Aqua water softener and recharge it's actually two separate items they're available on amazon and i'll have a link in the description below so my final assessment of the pro aqua water softener i think it's a good value uh, mainly because you can recharge it it's not real heavy 
it's definitely a labor saver it, it didn't save me a whole lot of, of time in the shower when I was traveling it's a bit cumbersome for our RV setup but if you've got a, a big fifth wheel and you're stationary for a longer period of time because we're I'm, I'm park hopping if you're stationary and you've got the storage space I think it's a great RV value me personally I'll be using it every time I wash the cars uh, I have a, a hot tub in the back that I have to put in a uh, a water softening packet well I don't have to do that anymore I've got I've got the pro aqua and I can recharge it and recharge is real simple you basically take the the five micron filter out of this you invert it you fill it with table salt and you run it in through the the outlet port on the water softener the pro aqua water softener will treat 2,000 gallons of water before you have to recharge it and recharge two boxes of table salt uh, they it say it takes about 10 15 minutes I haven't run 2,000 gallons through it yet but the instructions look pretty simple so as I mentioned before the the link is in the description below they also have a website where you can go find pro aqua uh, and buy direct from them they didn't give me a discount code I am an Amazon uh, affiliate I am an Amazon affiliate and I do earn a few pennies per purchase so if you're interested in buying one please click the Amazon link uh, thank you for stopping by if this is your first visit I'd appreciate you considering clicking on that subscribe button and for those of you who have been following along thank you I'm so deeply honored and for my patrons you rock all right y'all come back now you hear